Hi, my name is Eric Danson, and today I'm going to give you a demonstration on the Perfect Binder A1. The Perfect Binder A1 will allow you to create perfectly bound booklets of up to 200 sheets using hot glue technology. And if you take a look at the top here, this is a document insertion unit. Document insertion unit allows uh, the user to place up to 200 sheet cover sheets in each tray. The cover sheets can be uh, up to a maximum size of 13 by 19 inches and they can actually insert heavier paper stock of 158 pound index or 300 GSM. And these cover sheets can be pre-printed uh, color cover sheets as well. Uh, over here is where the glue would be inserted into this tray. The glue comes in glue pellets such as this. Simply pour a few pellets in the tray here and close the bin up. Uh, next, the uh, machine uses an inline uh, trimming feature. And this inline trimmer will cut three sides of the booklet. Uh, the trimming waste will be deposited in this bin down here in the lower right corner. Once the book is trimmed, the booklet will be moved over to the output tray you see over here. And the output tray will hold up to 2,000 sheets or 10 booklets of 200 sheets each. Programming for the Perfect Binder is very simple. I'm going to go through step by step on the Image Runner control panel how to program a perfect bound booklet job. First step in programming a perfectly bound booklet job would be to place the originals on the document feeder on the machine. The next step would be to place my pre-printed cover sheets on the document insertion unit on top of the perfect binder. To program a perfectly bound booklet job, I would go into the copy screen, select special features, select booklet, select perfect binding. Next, I would select the finishing size for the content pages. On the right side, you will see pre-registered sizes I can select, leather size. Uh, for the example I will be showing, I'll actually use a customized set uh, size for the X and Y axis. This screen will allow you to select the paper source and the trim method. Uh, you can select the paper source for the front cover. Uh, the cover can be pulled from a document insertion unit or it can be pulled from a stack bypass unit. The paper select for the content pages, I will choose to select leather size paper from draw one. Uh, in the upper right corner, you'll see selections, options for the trimming. You can do not trim, vertical trim, which will be a face trim, or three-way trimming. This is all done in line in the system. Uh, if you go over here, the user has option for uh, make several adjustments for the content uh, page. You can actually adjust the uh, placement of the image on the content pages. You can also adjust the image placement for the cover sheets as well. Uh, you can also make several adjustments to the trim angle. And also as well, the trim location can be adjusted on the perfectly bound book. Also, the user has the option to insert sheets in the booklet. You can insert sheets uh, throughout the perfectly bound booklet or you can select front, back, or chapter pages. Next, I would select my scan settings. The scan settings will be set for leather size original, uh, two-sided originals. Uh, next, I have the choice to whether or not copy on uh, the front of the page or copy on both sides. For this, I will copy on both sides. And once everything is programmed, I simply hit the start key. During the perfect binder process, the content pages are delivered to an accumulation tray. The cover sheet is then transported down from the dock inserter. Glue is then applied to the back of the pages. The content pages are then bonded to the cover sheet. The booklet is then rotated and trimmed on three sides. Then the finished booklet is then delivered to an output tray in the lower left corner. 
This is a final output sample of a perfectly bound booklet. As you can see, glue is neatly applied to the spine of the book. And the booklet is trimmed on all three sides to give it a more professional look.